Elmira College women's volleyball is just two years removed from a trip to both the Empire 8 Championship and the ECAC Tournament, but this year it has been different. For now, the Soaring Eagles are just eyeing respectability and a record above 500. EC sporting the pink in honor of breast cancer awareness, hosting Penn College. First game, Amanda Matson, a former Corning West Viking. Some Viking strength there. EC up 17-11. Later in the first, trickery from Ashley Hyman. Tips that one home. Eagles up 20-12. Then game point, who else? Sasha Zavadska with a bullet on the serve. PC can't recover. The soaring Eagles roll three games to none. High school volleyball tonight, the Edison Spartans improved to 8-0 in the IAC with a three-zip blanking of Odessa Montour. Well, what a whirlwind it's been for the Jackals and head coach Dwight Mullins. Less than a month after being named bench boss in Elmira, Mullins coached his first ECHL games this past weekend. And here's the good news, the hardest part is out of the way. The Jackals kicked off Mullen's ECHL coaching career with a bang, defeating Redding and then smacking Greenville at First Arena. And for Coach, having that first win in the E under his belt is something special. For myself personally, uh, you know, you want to come in and you want to make a good first impression. There's no doubt about that. You want to get started on the right foot. And, uh, you know, a credit to the hockey players. They, they played hard. And, you know, there's a great group of guys here. They've worked hard from day one. And, uh, you know, it was uh, really nice. Now, Mullins told me that Jackals captain Jean Bourbeau presented him with the game puck after Friday's victory. Hopefully many more wins are in store for Coach and the Jack attack. Well, Coach Mullins will have a new goaltender to work with this weekend. Maxime Claremont has been reassigned to the Jackals by the New Jersey Devils, coming to Elmira from Jersey's AHL team, the Albany Devils. The 21-year-old Claremont was picked in the sixth round by the Devs in the 2010 NHL entry draft. Well, the Jackals' home of First Arena will be home to amateur MMA again when Art of Combat 2 returns on November 10th. The event is a follow-up to Art of Combat 1, and tickets are on sale right now, so make sure you get yours today. Speaking of MMA, UFC world champ and UE graduate John Bones Jones will be defending his belt on April 23rd, 2013. That's when he will meet Chael Sonnen in the cage. Now Bones and Sonnen will serve as coaches in the Ultimate Fighter 17, which begins filming on October 29th before squaring off for the title later on in April.